My name is Zion, I'm from the West Indies of Dominic Kuwait, raised in the US Virgin Islands. Right now we're down here in Louisiana, New Orleans, you know. Come on, we just did a show last night and a show tonight. Yeah. So big up to everybody down here in Louisiana who support me. I fall in love with you, you know what I mean? religion and everything, but um, so I, I would play it in my ears and there was the two artists I really listened to was Ziggy and, and Lucky Doobie, you know what I mean? And uh, most of my inspiration too came from the, the poverty and the struggle down in Dominica, you know, that I've seen over as a little boy and I took that with me and I always wanted to stay humble with the music. And I remember playing, I remember picking up a guitar, which I didn't know too much about guitar or nothing, but I remember my grandmother singing when I was a kid, and she used to mess with the pianos and make little notes and melody, and this melody stayed with me until I grew up, until I was like 16 years old. And, um, and I, I asked a couple of people to teach me how to play the guitar, and finally someone was, uh, someone was, uh, you know, gave me some lessons and everything. And then um, around the age of 16, I realized that I had a gift of writing. Because in the middle of the night, I used to get inspiration, and inspiration used to come, and I used to feel a sense of warmness come over my body. I would pick up the pen, pick up the guitar, and write and write, and then I realized I could write music. So that's when I really started writing, and then I got into a studio called Screwface Records, down in the Virgin Islands. And they recorded one of my one of my albums called United the Stand, and, and, and it was it was a, it was a great success in the islands. People loved it, and I was only 16 years old, and people was playing it all over the cars, the stores, and everything. So you know, what I mean, that's when I realized then I'm gonna pursue this as 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 a as a mission, really. You know, not not for not for vanity or to gain fame, really, but really is to is to uh, deliver this message to the people, to the music, and, and when Jah bless me financially, hopefully we can take that money and develop into countries that is less approved, uh, less, you know, that don't really have much, you know what I mean, as far as my country, you know, needs development. And we want to use this music to help the people. So really it's a mission idea, you know, really done does fame and unfortunately, you know what I mean, it's really a mission.
to be a part of our culture, you know what I mean? Um, Dominica, you know, I've always been raised around Rastas. And when I came up to the Virgin Islands, I've always been around Rastas, as well as Christians too, you know, because my mother and my father is Christian. And it was, like I say, it was very complicated dealing with it being in the Rastas world and the Christian community, you know what I mean? But I realized we all are human, you know, we all serve the same majesty, you know, the most I got, you know? And, uh, but I have a lot of teachings from a lot of my Rasta brethren. Uh, one of the most humblest people I find on the faces of the earth. You know, I've, I've taught me discipline and patience and love you know, and accepting me for who I was. You know, and I big them up. You know? Katrina, you know what happened, you know, I still I know you guys still recovering from it, you know what I mean, but just hold the faith, keep strong and keep on pushing, you know what I mean, and keep having faith in most like yeah. But you know, he can turn things around and for everything happening for a reason and every disappointment is a blessing. Always remember that, you know. Yeah man, so my heart goes out to you guys. Keep fighting the fight, keep fighting the struggle. One day I and I children will be free, you know.